I think this is our last question here. Uh, Eli asks this. I was wondering what breathing technique, if any, you prefer for hill sprints. Yeah, mine is... <laughs> you can, your mileage may vary. I notice that I tend to hold my breath and let it out in tiny bursts in each step. Oh, oh, like you're doing a sled. Okay, or a prowler. Okay, almost like the breathing pattern you have when doing lifting heavy weight. This is what I just do naturally, but it makes sense to me because you're trying to put maximum force into the ground with each rep and therefore need a lot of tension in the body. What do you think? Um, boy, I've been doing hill sprints my whole life and I don't think I've ever thought about breathing because... You know, when we did the one that, that was at the end of uh, El Cortez, the hill that was at the end of El Cortez uh, growing up, it was a steep hill. But it was so fast, it was never a big deal. Uh, Utah State, the air was so thin, we just did what we could. Um, at uh, Judge, the hill was steep, and we'd only do two or three of those, and we just try to get the damn things done. So I would say, I think you're doing fine. Uh, I think, Eli, a lot of it depends on the length of the hill. I've done short, tough hills. I've done long, tough hills. Those ones at Denison University in Granville, that hill is a bear. It's the longest training hill I've ever done. And it just keeps curving. It just keeps going higher. Um, so on that one, I don't think you could breathe like that. Uh, but I like your idea if they're short bursts. Uh, one thing that'd be interesting for you to do, Eli, is measure uh, time, how long it takes you to do your hill. I'm, I'm guessing you're probably in the 10 to 15 second range, which is just fine. And maybe that's what it is. So Eli asked a question about uh, breathing on hill sprints. I'm a big fan of breathing on hill sprints. And I think a lot of it depends on the steepness of the hill and the length of the hill. But I definitely think you're going to learn a lot about uh, your thighs or your legs when you do hill sprints. And also, if you do enough of them that are long enough, you learn a lot about your heart, lungs, and your general cardiovascular conditioning.